I wish to move from this land. I plan to move to Garar in the south of Canaan. I am Abimelech, king of Gerar. Who are you that enters my land uninvited? My name is Abraham, and this is my sister, Sarah. I am glad to hear it. Abraham, you may leave. Your sister and I must speak alone. Abimelech, you are to die, for you have taken this woman who is the wife of Abraham. My lord, I did not even touch her. Even if I had, I would be innocent, for I was not aware of this. I was told that they were siblings. I understand. Why else would I have appeared so abruptly if not to prevent you from sinning? Now, you must give this woman back to Abraham, who will, if you do so, pray for your life. But, if you do not, then my curse will remain, and you will die alongside all of your people. Why did you lie to me? What have I done to make you wish to bring disaster upon me and my kingdom? None should ever do what you have done to me. I did not expect that anyone here would care to follow the will of God, so I assumed that one who thought that we were married would kill me to marry her. However, I did not lie to you. She is my sister. She is the daughter of my father, but not of my mother. And so I married her. I will give unto you many sheep, cows, and slaves, as well as a thousand pieces of silver, and all of the land in my kingdom, to show that you have not sinned. You may choose to live wherever you wish. God has brought me joy and laughter. He is named Isaac. Isaac, your mother is old. Abraham, the son of Hagar, my slave, is mocking our son, Isaac. Send both of them away. Ishmael cannot inherit any of the wealth that God has said Isaac would. But Sarah, Ishmael is also my son. I should not do such a thing to my own bloodline. Abraham, listen to your wife, Sarah, for it is by her that you shall become the ancestor of many nations. I shall form a great nation from Ishmael's descendants, but not one as great as those which shall come from Sarah. The water is finished. We are certain to die. Hagar, do not be afraid, for God has heard your call. Go, comfort your son, for he is crying. You may now drink. Ishmael cannot die, for God is to form a great nation out of his descendants. Abraham, this is Fikol, the commander of my army. You are now in the presence of God, so make a vow here, not to deceive me or anyone that follows in my line. I have been loyal to you, so you must be loyal to me. I promise not to deceive you. As a sign of this, I will give you seven lambs, and thus this place shall be called Beersheba. Abraham, I wish for you to offer your beloved only child, Isaac, to me as a sacrifice. Father, I see that you have the coals and the knife for the sacrifice, but where is the lamb that we are sacrificing? God will provide one when we reach the top of the hill. Abraham, do not harm the boy. This was a test of your loyalty to God. Sacrifice this ram instead. You will be rewarded for not keeping your only son from me. You will have so many descendants that they cannot be counted. They all shall conquer their enemies, and every nation will ask to be blessed as they will be. I wish to buy land from you so that I may bury my wife. You look to be a powerful man. We will be glad to give the best grave that we have to you so that you may bury your wife. If you are as eager as you seem, then talk to Ephron, son of Zohar, and see if he is willing to sell Machpelah Cave at the edge of his field. Ask for its full price, so that I may own the land as a burial ground. I will give you the entire field with the cave, so that you may bury your wife. I shall buy the whole field with the cave, so that I may bury my wife, 
please accept my payment. You may have the land for 400 pieces of silver. Find a wife for my son Isaac, but promise to me that you will not take one from Canaan, but travel back to my birthplace and choose one of my relatives. Sir, what if the woman I choose will not come here to your son? Should I then take Isaac to her? No, the Lord God did give me this land and promise that all of my descendants will live here, so you must not take Isaac away. However, if that is so, then I will free you from your promise, and you may return to me. Lord, I have a plan to find a good wife for Isaac. Please, give me success so that I may return to my master, having fulfilled my promise. Please, may I drink from your bottle? Of course, sir. I will bring water to your camels also. Tell me, who are you? And is there room in your house for my camel and I to stay? I am Rebecca. My father is Bethuel, son of Nahor and Milcah and there is enough room for both you and your camel to stay. Nahor is Abraham's brother. He asked me to find a woman related to him, and God has led me to one. My sister Rebecca has told me of you. You are blessed by the Lord God, are you not? Come, I have a room ready in my house for you, and there is a place for your camel also. Before I can eat, I must say something. I am the servant of Abraham, who has been greatly blessed by God. He is a wealthy man with plenty of land, animals, and slaves. He has a son named Isaac, who is to inherit everything that he owns. So he sent me here to choose a wife for him, from his relatives. And almost as soon as I entered this land, I found Rebecca, who seems to be perfect to be a wife for Isaac. Will you allow me to fulfill my master's wish? This is not my decision. This matter comes from the Lord, does it not? Take Rebecca and leave. May the Lord have what he wants, a wife for Abraham's son. May I return to my master? No, let her stay with us for a week before you go. The Lord has given me success in my efforts. Do not hinder me now. Rebecca, do you wish to go with this man? Yes, brother. Very well. May you become the mother of millions, and may your descendants conquer their enemies. I will give you a donkey to take you to Isaac. Who is this man? That is Isaac. I must cover my face. Isaac, I have found a wife for you. She is named Rebecca. You should both go into your mother's tent, and there she may become your wife. <laughs>